Guys, welcome back to our show. We got a really great lineup for today. And so before we get going, I want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can get all the latest content and updates from Power Mechanical. So the end of the year is right around the corner. And as I always like to say, it's never too late to do the right thing. And today that's exactly what we're talking about. Five simple tactics to increasing your plant's efficiency exponentially. Now keep in mind when we talk about increasing efficiency, this is a list that could just grow and grow. But today we're looking at five quick techniques that you can deploy in this upcoming year to ensure that you're getting the most out of your boiler room. And we're doing it right now. Number five, water side and fire side cleaning. So having regular water side and fire side cleaning and maintenance is critical for an efficiently operating plant. Not only is this a scheduled opportunity to of course remove any accumulations inside the boiler's heat transfer areas, it's also an ideal time to inspect these areas closely. These set intervals for inspection and cleaning can help to uncover problems that could result in the most inefficient boiler of all, and that's one that's not working. Remember, efficiency is not just doing something, but it's doing it well. So in order to effectively and efficiently transfer that heat, we've got to inspect and clean all these areas. Schedule what is commonly referred to as an open, clean, and close with a qualified boiler repair professional. Yearly intervals at a minimum are best practice, however, some operations and boiler designs may need more frequent inspections and cleanings. As always, be sure to refer to your boiler's manufacturer's recommended practices and procedures for guidance on these procedures and frequencies. Number four, regular tunings. So if you're not already having these done once or twice a year, well, you're essentially just sending valuable BTUs right up the stack. You see, as the ambient temperatures make their biggest changes during the fall and the spring, the combustion curve for these industrial burners oftentimes requires a tuning to get the right combination of air to fuel. Linkage type or single point positioning burners especially need this regular evaluation to ensure that these linkages are not worn and or slipping. And this for obvious reasons will throw the fuel to air ratio off throughout each of the firing sequences. So it's critical that these tunings are performed at scheduled intervals to ensure maximum efficiency. Now your linkageless systems do have a better history for maintaining tune, however regular evaluations of the combustion curves on these are best practice as well. Partner with a local boiler and combustion company to perform these combustion analysis and tunings to ensure that your boiler is not sending dollars right up the stack. Number three, economizers. Now since we're talking about the stacks, it would be a miss not to mention an economizer. One of the most significant increases in efficiency you can get is from decreasing stack temperature. The best way to decrease stack temperature is by installing an economizer. These components put that otherwise wasted heat back into the process for further use. When you consider that for every 10 degrees of increase in feed water temperature, it equates to 1% gain in efficiency, then you can see as to where the concept of utilizing an economizer is a sound decision. Stack temperatures on various boilers designs can still be several hundred degrees in these final passes and utilizing an economizer can capture this sensible heat and put it back to work. So an economizer just makes perfect economical sense. Number two, gauges and thermometers. Gauges and thermometers are some of the simplest components that you can utilize in order to maximize your plant's efficiency. For one, they need to be obviously monitored regularly. Different systems need daily or even possibly multiple times per day monitoring. Gauges and thermometers tell us when systems may have changes in regular operating pressures and or temperatures, and these changes can oftentimes be due to accumulations of soot, scale, or other problems that if caught early can prevent even bigger problems. All of these gauges are in place for a reason, so don't just write them off as an unnecessary check. Secondly, don't assume that these are all working properly. A fresh set of gauges or thermometers at set intervals is a really good practice to ensure that the all of the checkpoints on your steam or hot water systems are performing satisfactorily. The cost associated with changing these out regularly is pennies as compared to the money wasted from an inefficient system. And finally, number one, efficient operators. What better way to have an efficient plant than to have operators efficiently running it? When we think about the, doing the work and doing it well, then getting the right knowledge and putting it to work just can't be beat. That's why having operators or facility and maintenance persons properly trained on boiler operations is critical for maximum efficiency. Not only does this equate to a more efficient plant, but it creates a safer and ultimately more reliable plant as well. When operators understand what maintenance is important, the operations of it and the frequencies required for their systems, then all of these things collectively fall into place and make for what I like to call 
a well-oiled machine. Contact a qualified professional boiler training provider so your entire facility can be trained and stay up to date on all of the latest information on having a safe, reliable, and efficient plant. All right, guys, like I say, it's never too late to do the right thing, and it's also not too late to register for STEAM School and our upcoming classes. You can give us a call right here at this number and talk with us direct about the upcoming dates and get some more information on it. And I also want to wish you a Merry Christmas from all of us here at Power Mechanical, and uh, make sure and subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And other than that, we'll see you next week for another STEAMWorks. <laughs>